Louise, I'm just going to go through a couple of them, but people need to buy the book so they can read your conclusion. Listen to your mother. One of the your points is chivalry, people need to remember, is actually a good thing. Why is that important? It was, as we were talking about at the top of the show, that there is this inherent sexual asymmetry between men and women. Women are the ones who get pregnant. Men are bigger and stronger. You've got all the psychological differences going on. I think given that fact, which isn't going away, is hugely unwise from a women's perspective to do away with chivalry, which is basically you know, an ideology that says that men ought to restrain themselves, ought to, um, you know, if, if you understand male strength as a sword, to you know, keep it within its sheath, to be courteous towards women, to to put women first, to open doors. You know, sometimes, I get it, sometimes let's say as a professional woman, it might feel patronising, it might feel annoying to be um, have doors held open for you and all this kind of stuff. But that is a tiny price to pay for the benefits that chivalry brings with it. And I think it was... Those women who yeah, complain about that stuff are ruining it for the rest of us. It. Most normal women like it. Uh, like, they like chivalry. Uh, so don't, <laughs> men out there, don't listen to that minority voice. Listen to the rest of us who appreciate you treating us like you are gentlemen and we are ladies, uh, while understanding that we are full, empowered ladies as well. Okay, um, this is a good one. If you're going to get drunk or high, do it in private and with female friends rather than in public or in mixed company. This is basic safety. More people need to be told this. More young women need to be told this. I tell you, I went on um, Breakfast TV here in the UK when my book was first published and we and we spoke about that piece of advice and I got such a grilling from the hosts and there was so much out. They were so outraged at the idea that I would suggest this. I mean, bear in mind, I'm not saying don't drink in mixed company is getting drunk it's it's incapacitating yourself putting yourself at risk that's the thing that i think is ill-advised um so yeah i got such a grilling on tv and then as soon as i got home i was just inundated with emails comments tweets whatever from people saying yes obviously and it was one of those things where actually the the, the general view was 95 percent plus yes this is common sense and actually this was considered completely normal even 20 30 years ago the idea that the the, the yeah, this was basic stuff that your mum would tell you to do, that your that your female friends would tell you to do, for a reason. Because obviously, it's 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 a bad idea to put yourself at risk when you're around people that you don't know. Bad things happen uh, when young women in that age group, in particular, get drunk out in public. Uh, and by the way, bad things happen when young men in that age group get drunk out in public. Um, quickly. Don't use dating apps. You write, mutual friends can vet histories and punish bad behavior. Dating apps can't. You know, I, this is, this happened sort of on the tail end of my dating life, so I never had to deal with these apps. But so many people do use them. So what do you say to those who say, I don't have friends who can set me up, or you know, they've fallen down on the job. This is my only way of meeting people. I really think that we should be bringing this back as a norm to be much more sort of generous with our friends about about setting people up that this idea of like going on a blind date with people someone you've been set up with by friends it seems really old-fashioned but like it's actually the it's not just the best possible way to meet partners it's actually the best possible way to meet new friends as well because you've got a sort of yeah filter that's already been put in place and so you're meeting people who are already like you're like likely that. to get on with okay the problem now let me just hit a couple more because we, we only have 60 seconds you get left a and huge I, amount I just of choice, have to get to these low quality too. Okay. Uh, last few. Hold off on having sex with a new boyfriend for at least a few months. Good way of discovering whether he's serious about you or just looking for a hookup. Only have sex with a man if you mm-hmm. think he would make a good father to your children. I like that. It's just a good rule of thumb in deciding whether he's worthy of your trust. And last but not least, monogamous marriage is by far the most stable and re- reliable foundation on which to build a family. That's really what's at the heart of the book and what's really pissed off your critics, Louise. But truer (laughs) words were never spoken. Well, like a lot of people these days, I am trying to eat healthier. And that is one of the reasons why I love good olive oil. And by good, I mean fresh. Olive oil packs the most flavor and the healthiest nutrients when it's fresh from the farm. And that is the problem with supermarket olive oils. They're not fresh. They can sit on the shelf for many months growing stale. That's why I like my olive oil direct from small, award-winning farms thanks to a guy named T.J. Robinson, also known as the Olive Oil Hunter. When I first tasted T.J.'s farm fresh oils, I fell in love with their vibrant flavors. They are delicious on salad, veggies, pasta, meat, fish, you name it. And as an introduction to his fresh-pressed olive oil club, 
TJ's willing to send you a full-size $39 bottle of one of the world's finest artisanal olive oils for just $1 to help him cover shipping. Best of all, there's never a commitment to buy anything, and you can cancel your membership at any time. Get your free $39 bottle for just $1 shipping and taste the difference freshness makes. It really does. Go to harvestfreshnow.com. That's harvestfreshnow.com for a free bottle and pay just $1 in shipping. Harvestfreshnow.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.